Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name is of course Constantine and today in the world of indie gaming we're going to be checking out a brand new game that has just been released and this one is called Sable and of course this one is one of those games that I've been really excited for. Uh, me personally I absolutely love the look of this game and I really want to keep on exploring it and see what it's all about. And I say this because I've actually played the demo of this one about a month ago uh, during a live stream and I had had a blast with it. It was pretty fun. Um, definitely wanted to keep on jumping into it and exploring the world a little bit more. But that demo kind of told me exactly what this game is going to be and I think I'm going to really enjoy this one. So if you guys are going to enjoy this one of course and want to see more of this, make sure you hit on the like button below as of course that's going to let me know that you guys want me to make a series out of this one. And before we jump into this one of course, let me just take a quick moment here to thank uh, Rough Fury for providing a review copy to share the game with you all and uh, show you guys what this game is all about. And uh, without further ado, Sit back, relax, and uh, get ready for a brand new adventure here that you're not going to be able to find anywhere else. This is definitely going to be something totally unique. Let's do this. Shedworks. Now, I really hope you guys are ready for this because this game is going to be completely different from any other game that you have ever seen before. I mean, just look at the art style here. This looks really impressive. Now, as I was saying, I did play the demo of the game, but I feel like the game kind of looks a little bit better, maybe maybe it moves a little bit better, I'm not quite sure. Maybe, the, maybe they kind of optimize it a little bit better, it definitely feels like it. Man, but this world is so strange though. Just look at this thing. Hmm. And of course, this is going to be the character we're going to be playing as. Now, uh, if I'm not mistaken, this is exactly where we started playing the game when we played the demo. Exactly from this spot right here. As you guys can see, the movement is a little bit strange. It kind of looks like it's uh, the f it kind of looks like we were losing frames, but no, this is exactly the intention of the game here. I'm pretty sure that that's what the devs intended to have the game moving at, uh, some sort of a stop motion animation, I guess. At least the world is moving normally, only my character here is kind of moving a little bit weird. And of course, this is not what we've done in the, uh, in the demo, this is totally different. Uh, no, I wanted to jump up there, but I couldn't. Let's try it again, and we did it, awesome. Uh, this game is definitely going to have a lot of platforming that we're going to have to deal with, and by the looks of it, this is not where I had to go. I think I gotta go to that other side instead. Oh, never mind, there's a ladder over here. Huh. Gotta crouch. Come on. Come on. Are you gonna crouch? <laughs> uh, press L to crouch. Ah, there we go, that's how you crouch, never mind. Oh my god. I love how this already changed so much. As we already got out of the cave there, the world is so colorful. You're gonna have so much to explore in this game, it's crazy. Now, I don't think there's gonna be any fall damage, so I'm definitely not gonna have to be worried about any of that. Hold down B to sprint while moving around. You can only sprint while you are you have enough stamina. Uh -huh. So, of course, we're going to be depleting a little bit of stamina as we're going to be running here. Ibex camp. Man, but this world looks so interesting. I can feel Jaddy smiling behind the mask. <laughs> Just as I know, she can feel the teeth bury a little grimace behind me. I'm nervous and she's softly, sweaty, amused. In her eyes, I probably have very little to worry about. You know you have nothing to worry about, don't you, Sable? Um, I know, I know. I tell Jaddy that I know, but that hasn't quite sunk in yet. She chuckles. Hmm. 
I promise you, Sable, you're fine. But uh, I don't know who you are. You're going to be nervous until you're started. And then you'll act like you've been doing it your whole life. Remember the first time you rode a bike? You wouldn't even let me put on your uh, seat. You were so afraid. Your hands were like little claws gripping onto me. Is this like my grandma or something like that? I feel the memory in my fingers. But then I promise you it was going to be alright. I told you how much I had loved riding my bike as a young woman and how wonderful the wind felt for fabric. Suddenly, there you are. You sat down, you leaned forward and put those little grasping claws on the handles and you were off. And I remember thinking just watching you tear over the sand. Look at her, she can do whatever she wants. <laughs> Jetty reaches out and places a hand on the edge of my mask. And you can't stable. I take a breath. Um, I don't know where to start. Let's go with that, yeah. Jenny's story warns me, but I feel too overwhelmed to let it settle. I tell her with a sigh that I don't know where to begin. She chuckles. Well, I can help with that. You need to talk to Hilal and Driss. Driss should already have the arrangement for your bike, and Hilal will share something. Well, uh, let's say as useful as it is fun. Hmm? I think you might suspect that Jadi is saying, but I stay quiet. And that I suppose uh, we'll see you off? I'll be back soon. I tell Jadi that I'll be back soon. Sable, don't go planning your return before you've ever left. Take all the time you need. It's a big decision you're making out there. I tell her that's why I'm so eager to make it. To choose well and quietly so that I don't go too far down in the wrong path. Whatever you decide, you do with uh, my blessing. So don't try using an excuse to come home early, eh? She knows me. <laughs> and of course, as I was saying, we are going to be able to explore this world quite a bit. And I feel like that's exactly what we got to do. Now, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to come back to this area once we're going to go out there exploring the world. But um, I guess we're going to have to wait and see. And as I'm watching at this screen right here, I see that on the top right corner there. I think that's some sort of a collectible, if I'm not mistaken. That looks so weird. Now, go speak with Ilan. I'll be there to see you. Or to see you off, actually. And speak to Driss as well. I've told him to arrange your bike with Saizo, but you know how he is. I have something to give you. A compass to help you on your journey. It's the same one I used in my gliding, an artifact, you might say. Hmm. I take the device in my palm. It fits naturally there, perfectly weighted and crafted. Each component slides together with incredible satisfaction precision. Thank you. Go on, go on. It's nearly time. Hmm. That is um pretty epic. I absolutely love this so far. Uh, LB for the compass. All right, so this is gonna be my compass, kind of show me the waypoints on where I gotta go. I need to do a complete task for Hila and Dress. So of course, I'm guessing this is uh, one of the guys that we gotta chat with. All right, buddy. Now before I'm gonna chat with him, hold up. I'm really curious to see what this is all about. Oh, but you know what? I'm not gonna be able to grab it unless I'm gonna be able to actually glide. So until then, let me chat with this fellow first. As I approach Hilal, they give an enthusiastic wave. I've always appreciated Hilal as a verb of vigor. Verb in vigor, actually. And a day like this, I'm ready to match it. With a touch of nerves for balance. <laughs> Sable, take this. Hmm. Hilal hands me a small round stone. As it nestles into my palm, I feel a warmth, not borrowed from him, Hilal hands, but emanating from within. I run my thumb over it and I find the soft electric, like static on cloth? Mm, what is this? I try to sound less confused than I am. Oh, Sable, you can't live without it. What I've just given you is gliding stone. What do you feel? Hmm. I tell Hilal that I feel... Let's go with electricity, yeah, I guess. Then you're doing it right. <laughs> what you feel in that stone is openness. I look at the stone. It seems quite closed. Hmm. Gliding stones are vessels for the perpetual. They suck up its power like little sponges and hold it there for you to channel. Right now it's empty or dormant and waiting for you to fill it up. Hmm. How can we do that? Well, take it to the temple ruins at the edge of the canyon. You'll be able to activate it there. Hmm. Hila claps their hands twice and bobs a little. I appreciate their good mood at a time like this. Come back to me once that's done. I want to hear all about it. As I'm about to leave, Hila stops me. Oh, you haven't gotten your bike yet, have you? Hmm. It's a bit of a trek to the temple, so go see Dress. Uh, he was meant to get ready for you, yes? Alright, so of course we gotta go to the next one. Whispering stones. Huh. 
Man, this world looks so freaking cool, though. As I was saying, definitely... Oh! Ah, there's gonna be coins in the game, of course. We're gonna have to collect in order to do other stuff. Of course, there is gonna be a lot of that. Alright, well, in that case, um, let me just make my way to this fellow over here. Have a little bit of chat with this one. He makes camp again. Uh, I thought I've called myself to not to be eager. It's all I can do not to race up to dress. This is the camp manager. He's been difficult to get a hold of lately, but now I strongly suspect that he's been working on my bike in secret. Perhaps it's extra beautiful or has some custom feature? What will its name be, I wonder? How fast will it go? Will my legs feel sore or will I get used to it? <laughs> Driss turns with a bit of a start. Sable? Uh, oh, hello. Um, how are you today? I'm, well, um, a little hang there a moment. But I can do it. I'm too keen. And the words spill out. I asked Driss if he might sort of possibly maybe have a bike for me. Your bike? He yells at it like it's an idea. He's just had. Oh, your bike! Yes, of course! Um, uh, yeah, your bike. Uh, that was what I meant to prepare for you. Uh, because today's your... Gliding, yes. <laughs> oh, yeah, of course, right. Yeah, yeah, um, I have, I have that. My blood was cold. Has he forgotten? By which I mean I arranged it for you. In a, well, sort of a tutorial. A tutorial? Yeah, exactly, a learning experience. You see, Sable, before one can own their own bike, they must prove that they can ride bike by taking a quick test on a different bike. <laughs> uh, I think about it and find I never heard of that part of the gliding, but Driss does seem earnest, sort of. So instead of worrying about your bike, I'd like you to try this bike as a test. Hmm. Interesting. Um, I'll give it a go, I guess. Really? I mean, yeah, good. Uh, be gentle, though. This sand card is older than Jari. You treat her with respect, you hear? <laughs> now ride the bike through the rings and back, and here's some advice for you, my young glider. Don't fall off. Hmm. When you're not riding it, your hoverboard will appear as a blue icon. Ah, so if I do this, yeah, look at that. That's how you actually see where your hover bike is located. So this way, I'm not going to be able to lose it by mistake. Interesting. Alright, well, I guess I'm gonna just jump into this one, try to do the quick tutorial here. Oh my god, this runs so weird though, and it's really slow as well. Aha, so we can also do a little bit of strafing though. Interesting. I kinda like this. I should speak to Driss. Alright, so we run through, of course, the circle. Next up, I gotta get back to this dude and talk to him again. Man, what a heap of junk, eh? <laughs> I definitely need to get myself a much, much better ride. This is... This is really annoying. Oh my god. I mean, look at this. It's so difficult to park it, even. Hey, buddy. I done the test. Uh, I returned to Dress, who somehow manages to seem cut off guard despite knowing I was coming. Oh, Sable, congratulations! Uh, how was your first pre-glide ride? Any strange rattles? Unexplained hissing? Small fires? <laughs> what do you mean, fires? Surely don't notice if you were on fire, e even a little bit. Yeah, of course I would. Well, obviously it didn't happen, so I, I think we're fine. <laughs> Driss, is this bike dangerous? Well, he doesn't finish. <laughs> Have you already been in my uh, Hilal? Uh, am I not getting a bike? Well, you're getting the use of this sand cutter. That's something, eh? You can borrow it to run your little errands. My little errands? And Hilal's got something to show you, too. Help me out with some more of that um, mobility you're after. With my confidence in this uh, little exercise, only my little tarnished. I thank Dress very much for his help and his bike, and in part for Hilal. Hmm. Slicing sands. New quest log. Oh, hold up. Ah, so this is the quest log that we got. I get it. Man, this is really cool. So our next one is gonna be... Actually, these ones are done. Driss gave me the sand cutter. Activate the gliding stone at the altar. Yeah, and this and the next one is gonna be I need to complete tasks with Hilla and Driss. Can I interact with this? No. I mean, what am I supposed to do? It definitely tells me to go on the bike, so I guess... Hmm. 
I mean, I definitely spoke with Driss, right? With Hillal. Yeah, you know what? I think, uh... I think we're good to go. I think I'm just gonna make my way towards the destination over here. Let's just see how this goes. I'm pretty sure we should have had ourselves a um, point on the uh, map here, on the compass, which of course is not happening. So I'm not quite sure what that's happening, but anyway. Now I know what to do here because I've already done this in the uh, demos I was saying at the beginning of this video. I've already kind of played this part, but not really that much. So I'm actually going to be at the start of the journey here in just a bit. So I'm going to be finished with uh, collecting the gliding ability here. Alright, I think in order to climb up there, actually we can definitely just do it like that, right? This is really weird. Alright, we got it, perfect. And jump! Oh god. I gotta make sure I don't sprint that much because if I also want to climb up, that's also gonna drain my stamina, of course. Alright, so in order to get myself the gliding ability, I gotta make my way inside this temple first. Oh, snap! But we're fine. As I was saying, there's not gonna be any fall damage in the game. At least as far as I know. Man, this game is so weird though. I love that they went with this art style though, it's really not that bad, it definitely makes the game really unique. Especially right here where there's absolutely no color, it looks like everything is black and white. The stone drums like the beat of the heart as I approach the altar. Um, accelerated. Am I, am I ready for Rohan to know me? I'm ready to know myself. I feel her curiosity in this secret place, I know I'm in her sight. Hmm. There we go, we got it. So this is the thing that we have to fill up in order to use the gliding ability. But this looks so freaking weird. I just love this. The world they have created here definitely has a really strange look to it. But this only makes me want to just explore it more and more and see what next we can actually uncover behind the walls. Now, one thing I would um, really want to have in this game, or at least something I really wanted to have, uh, unfortunately it hasn't been made, uh, was a little bit of voiceover. I would absolutely love to hear a bit of voiceover. Press and hold A to glide. Oh, wait, I didn't press the, wrong, the right one. I feel like uh, games with voiceover, voiceover is always going to make games much, much, much better. Wait, am I supposed to go back up? I don't think so, no. Jeez, this is so cool. And as soon as we go out, look at that, the colors kind of change a little bit. That is really awesome. Alright, now how am I gonna jump up there, though? Hmm. I don't even know if I can do that. Never mind, we definitely can because we can definitely walk on walls. Or more like climb on walls. I think the colors I like this because it's nighttime outside, right? Pretty sure about it. And jump! There we go, little one. 
At least gliding like this is not really affected by stamina, which is great. And yeah, just as I thought, it is nighttime outside. That's why kind of the colors uh, changed a little bit. Oh man, but this gliding ability though, it's so cool. And you know what? As I was doing these glides, I noticed another one of those thingy floating about. And I think those might actually be collectible that I may need to collect in the game. I should have definitely checked these mountains as well because I'm pretty sure there might have been some as well. Especially up there. I'm not sure. Alright, let me try to make it up here for a second because I want to grab something for myself. What is that sound? That was so weird. It kind of sounded like wolves attacking me. But I'm pretty sure there's not going to be any enemies in this game. This is a really chill game where you can just go and explore. Enjoy the view, I guess. There we go. And let's just see what this is, though. What the heck is this creature? A chum egg. A what? Offered up by chums when planting themselves into the ground. Perfectly smooth and hard as a rock. These eggs seem to float with how light they are. There must be a good place to deliver these. Hmm. I'm not sure what that is, though. Uh, but I'm definitely going to keep on looking for them until I'm going to be able to find out. I think there is another one on top of that huge mountain over there. Pretty sure about it, but I cannot see that far. Man, this game is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Alright, let me jump back on the bike here and make my way back home because I really want to see what else I've got to do next. I wonder if there's going to be one life in the game. I mean, I did see some birds flying about, but I want to see kind of like more interesting creatures. Oh god, I didn't even see that rock. I am so sorry about that. <laughs> Hopefully I did not destroy the uh, bike here that this guy led it to me. Alright, and we're back. Let's get out of here. So next up, uh, by the looks of it, I gotta go this way. Show Hilal the activated landing stone. Hold up, Hilal is this fellow right here. Oh, you know what? While we're doing that, there's another one of these eggs that I can go ahead and collect. So let me actually go ahead and do that. Why not? There we go, another chum egg. These things are so weird. I, I gotta find out what the heck is the deal with them. Hey buddy, I got this thing charged up. When I return to Hillal, it's clearly they know what I've just experienced. They're excited on my behalf, in a way that makes me miss them before I ever left. Isn't it incredible? How does it feel? Exciting to freedom. Let's go with that. Yeah Most of them involve me falling on my head and not getting hurt, but I'm sure I come up with more in practice Right, uh, you can do anything you want Plus moon doesn't darken, but the side they let out holds a bit of sorrow You're very lucky. You know, I miss it so much that feeling just floating on the breeze I mean, why are they not doing it still? Why am I the only one doing it? But I suppose it's best that it fades with age, hmm? Or else, I might never have come back from gliding. I'd just be out there, having myself into a chasm. Ah, so as you grow older, apparently you're not gonna be able to glide anymore. Interesting. And I just noticed that this guy doesn't have a leg. He's missing a leg. Is that really what you do? I wish we could all do it. I take a lot, I wish I was something we could keep perpetually. So do I, Sable. So do I. I know people manage to keep it up, uh, but I don't know that I've got the time to practice as much as they do. It takes a really serious focus. Hila laughs, even if there's a bit of regret in it. And I certainly haven't gotten to that. 
Still, I suppose the gliding wouldn't mean uh, much if there were gains and no loss, huh? I think about that, but decided that there is already too much loss in my mind to consider it much further. I'm saying goodbye to my clan, my family, my home, my childhood. To lose a perpetual and a sacrifice for another time. You're going to love it out there, Sable, even when you don't. My advice, try to have fun. There's a lot to be said about ritual independence. And all of that out there, but the world's an easier place if you just put joy first. Hmm. I thank you all for the advice and for the help and tell them I'll miss them. It'll be over before you know it. A warning and a reassurance, all in one. <laughs> I say goodbye to Hilal. Before I go, Hilal gestures towards the tower. It seems Sizo wishes to see me before I leave the clan. Interesting. Sizo has a task for me. Alright, so next up I gotta go all the way to... Oh, hold up, what about this? What is this? Logging in. Hi, Sybil. On red messages. Zero. Have a good day. <laughs> so I'm guessing I'm gonna probably be able to find multiple of these uh, PO boxes or something like that. Then I'm gonna be able to read messages that I'm getting from my family, I guess, from my clan. Even the sounds kind of have a really strange feel to them. Is this like the clan leader? Sizo is an old clanner to the Ibexi, but I've known her for nearly as long as I can recall, and think of her more as a kind of a distant relation than any other sort of uh, outsider. Machinists, I'm told uh, given their posts and by their training and their codes, um, must go to where they are needed. But Sizo has been among us so long that it's easy to forget it's an assignment first and uh, foremost. As far as any of us are concerned, she's one of us. I think there is a perception among the other clans that Ibexi are still quite insular, or that our designation of Ibexi versus all clanners suggests a nervous othering of those who are unlike us. But in practice, such things are more result of our nomadic nature. We seek to know who will travel with us, and we must be behind. But all are welcome to join. And I'm always pleased that Sizo did. Sybil, how do you do, clan child? I can only think of one thing. <laughs> Better now that I'm getting a, a bike. <laughs> yes, Jody told me about the excited you were. She also told me Driss will be coming along to get your bike together, but uh, I think he may have... I knew it. <laughs> what? I didn't mean to say that out loud, so I'll tell her why I was just clearing my throat. I don't begrudge Driss his forgetfulness, where I task with so many odds and ends, I might just be uh, scared. And besides, this will be good for you. I want you to scavenge the hoverbike parts for yourself. Hmm, am I going to make my own hoverbike? <laughs> No, you're not going to make your own hoverbike. You are going to build your own hoverbike. Of course. <laughs> to make suggestions, you are creating something, but your bike already exists. They simply haven't taken form yet. Here, take this. Ah, uh, so I'm guessing this is going to be probably the first part of the bike, right? Sizo hands me something. This is a navigator. You can use it to mark waypoints on your compass. It should be useful in finding the old parts. I asked Sizo where I might start looking. Hmm. Our bikes are reborn in the ruined ships and fragments of spread apart. A good start would be the ship down there, near the camp. you find another one up on that great rock, near the other side of the canyon. And another one behind the old dam on the hill. Use your navigation to mark down if you need it. You'll need to gather a control panel, a powerful supply, and a calibrator. Hmm, I'll be back before you know it. Together we can create something new out of the old. Huh. Interesting. So by the looks of it, we can actually use this one to set a marker all the way back there, I guess. Because if I'm not mistaken... Hold up, how far did this go? Holy moly, this went so far. I think I want to place this one like about there. I feel like that's where I'm probably going to need to go. So there's one. Interesting. I want to place another one, like, right over here. Hold up, I want to place it... I guess... There. Got almost fell down. And another one is gonna be going all the way down here. Is that right? There we go. Interesting. Oh, 
40 coins we got. Can I also make it all the way to the other side? Let's just try. I'm pretty sure we can. Let's just see what this is. Whoa, these characters look so weird. I approached the cartographer. Ah, Green's Child. I saw you looking longingly at my great balloon. Quite a piece of work, isn't she? She really is. Best not to ask right now. Um, well, good to meet you, and oh, I should introduce myself. I'm Gordon. I tell him I'm Sable. I suppose if you've come all the way to see me, it's probably a map you're after, eh, Sable? Uh, I would love a map. <laughs> of course you would. That'll be 50 cuts. Hmm, to my ears, it's a fair price for a map, but too expensive for a pre-gliding glider with empty pockets. I tell Jordan I'll be back. Hmm, I'll need to ask JD for some money. Hero child. Aha, uh -huh, so this guy's gonna sell me a map by the looks of it. I definitely want that for sure. The balloon was more fun than the person in it. <laughs> what are you talking about, buddy? Ooh, is she waving at me? As she looks out across the landscape, Zeke's shoulders sag a little. I wonder what she's thinking about. Something on your mind? I don't know how she's done it. That's Illyria over there. I follow her gaze to a little speck in the distance, which I now understand in their daughter, Illyria. Do you want me to get her back? No, she's fine, and I'll get her. I'm just... Parenting. <laughs> I suppose I'll know more about uh, when I'm older. Hmm. I don't know who she's waving to. I wonder if she's waving to that kid all the way up there. I don't know, yeah. Anyway, let me just make my way to my next destination, but first of all... I do want to go ahead and have a little bit of chat with the old lady here. I tell Jaddy that the cartographer wants 50 cuts for a map of uh, anywhere. I try to hedge the way he speak about this, and as I'm not entirely sure whether that's too much. She tells me not to worry. Ah, she gave me 200! There we go, I'm not gonna have enough money to buy the map! Interesting. It's good to know that the value of money, but you never want to be uh, ruled by it. Hmm. Okay, that was not bad. Of course, I did start collecting a few coins here and there, but I definitely didn't have enough. So does that mean that I can now make my way back up to that guy so that I can get the map? I hope so. Because I most definitely want to explore the world with a map. Why not? Alright, and we're back. Let me try to buy the map from this fella. Green child. I'll buy the map. Perfect, let's trade then. There we go, a map of the Ewer sold by members of the Cartography Guide, or Guild I should say. I'm pretty sure there's gonna be multiple maps that I'm gonna be able to get, right? Hmm. Good luck on your gliding, Sable. I still remember mine. How was it? Short. I knew it since uh, I was a boy that Cartography was for me, but I spent a little extra time out there just to enjoy the world. Speaking of, keep an eye on the skies, eh? Plenty of my colleagues out there, and they have more maps to sell to you. From Hakoa to the Sodic Waste. Hero Child. Hmm. So how do you use the map? Ah, so now that we just got the map from this fella, this area has actually unlocked because previously I wasn't really seeing it right. That is really cool. Alright, well, uh, the more we explore... The more you learn. Perfect. Let me get more coins out of this one. And I think this is gonna have more? Oh no, wait, what? I don't know what that is. Umar is a man of a few words. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do with these buckets. Maybe I'm gonna be supposed to bring these guys some water or something, I don't know. I really have no idea. Alright, uh, no, I did not want to place that. What I want to do here is get my bike and make my way towards the first ruin area. Come on, buddy. Which, of course, the first one and the closest one is going to be this one on the right side. Man, this game is going to have so much exploration. And me, personally, I absolutely love exploring these worlds. Sable here is such an interesting adventure, though. Such an interesting adventure game. What 
is this? This is like an old machine that has crashed this place, eh? Definitely feels like it. There's nothing of use to be found in the ship, but I notice a blinking light flashing on the dashboard of the cockpit. Push the button. A voice crackles from the machinery in front of me. It sounds like a recording. It's barely audible. Hmm. Stop messing up about with those buttons, you absolute idiot. <laughs> Sorry, Ramen. Concentrate. I don't think I have to remind you how much work it was to get this far. We're almost there. All right. I'll see if uh, what that old mechanist told us holds up. If not, there will be hell to pay. Huh. Okay, when I push this orange thing, pull that lever, heart. Yes, Ramen. Oh no, not the heart! You've torn it out! Hmm, the sounds of someone cheering. It worked! We're flying! More cheering. Okay, okay, let's focus. This thing is moving fast. We need to slow it down a bit. How do we do that, Ramen? Let me check the mechanist's notes. Hmm, Ramen? That lever, Toma, the one I just ripped out. We're going too fast, we're going to crash! We need to try to... And I'm guessing that's how they actually crash right over here. What? Are you kidding me? That was... Interesting. Unfortunately, there was nothing inside it. Huh. Oh, look at the little kids. Hey, are you looking for your calibrator? I'm immediately on guard. Um, you won't find it here. I've hidden it. You'll never find it. Never. What? She never fails to get to me. <laughs> Give it back, Saima. No, I don't think I will. Hmm. Seriously, Saima, come on. I'll give you the calibrator. Okay. If you give me some beetles. There's a fair trade, isn't it? Something you want for something I want. Hmm. I try to decide if it's more mature to push her over and steal the calibrator or to do what she wants. <laughs> but then I simply stifle a sigh and shake her little hands. Aw, oh, man. All right, so we got ourselves a quest, of course, in order to uh, get the calibrator from this guy. I'm gonna definitely have to do a quest for him. So let me try to follow him here before I lose him. Come on, Sable. Oh, look at this guy running away. Man, but the movement of the characters, though, it's so weird. All right, little guy. I'm following. All right, so I do remember this part as well because I did the I did do this part in the uh, demo. But once I'm gonna be done with this one, everything is gonna be brand new to me. All right, let's see here. So I. Th I think what I gotta do is make my way inside here. First of all, grab this. Hmm, Ibexi Red Dye. The dye bottle full of colors of Ibexi Red Bike. Uh, am I gonna be able to make my bike red? I think I will. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna be able to make it red using that dye. And wait, what is this? Oh, this is the calibrator. Interesting. Uh, find the control panel, find the power supply. I mean, I still have to find quite a bit more stuff. This guy told me that he wanted some beetles from me, and I definitely didn't get any of that, so... What is that all about? It doesn't like we can interact with this thing or anything. So I'm not sure if I actually got the beetles or not. Someone shrieks when she sees the calibrator in my hands, and then bursts into tears under the mask. You leave! You leave on the gliding, and you're never gonna come back! Just like Yara did. Don't you miss her too? You were her friend before she left. I miss her too. There's been a letter here and there, but it is always to us, not to me. I'm not bitter, but I hope not to be like that. Please don't go. Aw oh, man, this guy wanted to do this because he doesn't want me to go, that's why he was hiding the calibrator. Promise? I say yes. Good, then I suppose I can come see you off. I thank her and say goodbye for now. Oh man. So that's the reason why she wanted to steal that or hide it away from me. Alright, let's go to the next destination then. Uh, which is gonna be... I guess I'm gonna go to the one on the left, maybe. 
Although, I think I'm gonna leave the one that left at the end. Let me just make my way straight up then. Man, this bike is just horrible. <laughs> it runs so horribly, I hate it. I have a feeling I'm gonna have to climb all the way up to the top in order to get whatever I'm looking for here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure about it. So, let's just power this off. And try to make our way to the top. Hmm. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get all the way up here, right? On this wall. So I may just need to go around through here. Come on, Sable. Is this the wrong way, though? No, it's not. It's good. There we go. Alright, so we made it inside. Ah, uh, so this is the wall that I was trying to climb. Hmm. I don't know if uh, I'm gonna be able to do this, though, but... Actually, never mind. We're good. There we go. Uh, that's gonna be quite a bit of a climb. I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to. I feel like I gotta make my way here, yeah, instead. Pretty sure about it. I definitely failed there, so let me try that again. I keep on forgetting that we can actually do a little bit of a gliding here. This is definitely going to save me. Help me get to the top of this much, much faster. There's going to be a lot of platforming in this game that we got to do. down. I just wanted to look around and see, make sure I'm going the right way. Yeah, I think I gotta climb all the way up and from this one then jump to the ship. Alright, so if I push this way... There we go. Worked. Awesome. Now, hold up. Before I go there, look at that. I knew it. There is another one of these eggs. Chum egg. These are so weird. I think we got three so far, right? I'm really curious to see what I'm supposed to do with them. Or if these are going to be like collectibles. seems to have power though oh is this what I was looking for atomic power supply it is interesting that was really cool all right and with that I think we got everything that we needed next up I got to make my way to find the control panel uh, which the control panel is gonna be behind the um, the dam I guess right And I think, actually, no, I've already built up that one, the chum egg over there. Yeah, I don't see another one. There's definitely going to be more chum eggs hiding around here, I'm pretty sure about it. So I just got to go ahead and look for them. Oh, what is that? Is this like another boat? I think it is. Let me just go ahead and check it out. I feel like there's going to be something hiding behind it, or below it, I should say. It is another chum egg. Here we go. Hey, little guy. Come here. We got four. Man, <laughs> the animations, though. It's so cool. Alright, next up, I'm just gonna jump on the uh, bike here. Make my way to the dam. And hopefully, we can get all the parts for our bike. Now, hold up, what we add it? Can I maybe interact with these butterflies that I keep on seeing about? Oh, we can! A sunshine butterfly, so we're also gonna be able to collect butterflies, seriously? Interesting. 
I mean, I did see another butterfly around here somewhere, but I did not expect me to be able to actually collect butterflies. Look at that, there's another one here. Yep, there's another sunshine butterfly. You know what? I feel like maybe the butterfly that I'm collecting, I'm gonna be able to use them as currency. Sell them for... points. Oh, hold up. I saw another chum egg here. Come here, buddy. I need you. Alright, we got five. You know what? Let me check the map for a second here. I'm curious if the map is telling me how many things we gotta find in this spot. So this is Ibix Camp. Oh, you can even fast travel to locations. What? That is pretty cool. I feel like I may need to climb up there. But first, the main mission is gonna be to climb over the dam here. Let us see what we got. Hopefully I'm not gonna start the water or anything. <laughs> Although it's definitely not gonna be any water here. If you like it feels like we are in a desert area. So that's most definitely not gonna happen. There's another ship over there, but I don't see anything hiding in it. Is this it? Nope, this is just a chest with a, a few coins. Ah, this is it. This is the control panel. Maybe not. Yeah, definitely not. I feel like the control panel is gonna be probably inside this building. Um, I guess I can do a little bit of a jump here, right? Well, I wanted to look behind the ship there and see if there's anything hiding, but uh, I don't think so, no. Feels like in order to open this up, I may need to put this battery inside. Yeah, right over there. Here we go. Awesome. Alright, and this one should have the final ingredient to make my hover bike. Uh, wait, I'm stuck. Ooh, there we go. We got the atomic control panel. Ships of old. Alright, and now that we got all this stuff, uh, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be able to make my own bike. And not only that, but we also... Do not forget that we also got ourselves the red dye. Which means I'm probably gonna be able to make my bike red. Look at those ships. This is really weird. I do see a small crack over there, so I'm guessing I gotta use that in order to get out of this place. Oh, seriously? I was not expecting to glide like that, or to slide like that, I was about to say. Now, how do I climb all the way up here? Am I gonna even be able to climb all the way up there? I think I am, yeah. Yeah, we got this. Do we? Yes, we do. Alright, perfect. Uh, from here... I think next up I'm gonna make my way to this one instead. Of course I could use the map to fast travel, but... Why fast travel in this game when uh, this game is all about exploration? Come on, Sable. There we go. Well, what is that? I don't know what that is. Huh. Yeah, it definitely looks like a bridge that's gonna allow me to get there, and this one's gonna allow me to climb even higher. Yay! 
Yes, another egg. Alright, we got six. <laughs> it's so weird how we're collecting them though. So what is that all about though? It doesn't like we can get out of this place though. It looks like we are kind of stuck inside this. Here we are. Oh, never mind. We gotta go through underneath maybe? I don't know. I don't even know. But I do want to try to climb all the way up here because this looks kind of like a cemetery. Whoa. This is so weird. Well, at least we got also some coins. But this statue looks so weird. Alright, well, uh, I think... I think we got everything that we were looking for. Yeah, definitely looks like pipe. Hold up, let me try to make my way up here. I really want to see what this is all about. Before I'm gonna head on back home, start working on my bike. I actually just want to go through here for a second. I think this is kind of like a bridge. Oh no, it's not. This is the entrance inside a cave. And these are the beetles that I wanted. Are you kidding me? How am I supposed to collect them though? Hmm. I got no clue how to collect these guys. Hmm. They seem to go... In they seem to be going on the grounds. You know what? I feel like in order to grab them, I may need to go close to them like that, maybe? Nah, they're just gonna run away. That is so cool. Well, I guess in order to grab these little billers here, I, I guess in order to grab these little beetles, I may need to do something else or get myself like an ability or something. And probably once I'm gonna be able to grab at least one, then I'm gonna be able to get it back to my friends. There we go. Man, I cannot wait to get rid of this bike, it's just so annoying. So now that we got everything, where am I supposed to go? I think I'm supposed to go all, all the way to the top again. Right over here. Hey buddy, I got the parts. I returned to Caesar with the parts. When will I see her again? Hmm. Well done, Sable. Yes, this is everything we need. Are you ready to assemble a bike of your own? Um I am. Let us head out to the workshop. Caesar relaxes in the workshop. It isn't that she's particularly rigid or anxious ordinarily, but there's a certain calm beauty that one only truly appreciates when Caesar is in her elements. Hmm. What you must understand, Sable, is that the components you acquired, they fit together. Not by chance, not by effort, but by nature. They belong to here. Hmm. They have always belonged to her. All we are doing is assembling her from what she has already been. I nod and feel a soft buzzing in my ears. Among my clan, we believe that machines have names, held for ages like deep secrets, and heard by those unequipped to listen. We'll find this one's name together. Alright, we need to assemble the machine apparently. Now, how the heck do I do that? Am I supposed to interact with these? Oh, no, never mind. I gotta put these together, I guess. There's one part, a gliding bike wing, a gliding bike wing, huh. Alright, what next? Next up is this, the gliding back front. And finally, the gliding bike booster.
So what am I supposed to do? Ah, there we go. Man, this looks so much better than the one that I'm riding. Ships of old. Speaks to Cizo. Hey, buddy. I think it's done. Listen. Simon? All at once I know her hoverbike name, Simon. I say it in a whispering to let Caesar know. What's happening? It's happening to the camera. Simon. Simon? Well done, Sable. <laughs> what sort of name is that? I asked Caesar what sort of name is it, and if it speaks to any particular clan or culture. If it does, then I do not know it. Perhaps you will find out on your journey? Hmm. Caesar shrugs, mostly for herself. Or perhaps you won't. But I hardly think it matters. You are bonded all the same. Hmm. I tell Simon that I am eager to know her better. And Sisu looks quite proudly at the both of us. <laughs> you are ready then for the gliding. May all the gods turn their faces from, from your sable, sable. An odd blessing perhaps, but Sisu is prone to such things. I can read in her tone that it was meant quite sweetly. Seek out my fellow mechanists in your travels, Sable. They will teach you the art of machine whispering. Hmm. Mechanist badge. Oh, and here, take this. It's a mechanist badge. You meet plenty of my ilk on your own gliding. Show them your worth, and they'll give you more badges. Okay. So, I'm guessing I'm not gonna be able to ride this just yet. I really wanted to put a little bit of color into it because uh, I'm pretty sure that's why I need that color that we just got. But, um, anyway, let me make my way back up then. I think the ceremony is going to happen all the way up here. Oh my god, Sable, what are you doing? <laughs> I keep on glitching out on the uh, edges here. No, I don't want to place anything. I return to Jody with a new lightness. And it makes the weight of my departure feel heavier still. Sybil, is that a badge you got there? Cizo gave it to me? Hmm. Then you must have earned it. Well done. I give a bow of thanks. Well, Sybil, if you keep this up, you'll be headed for the mass caster in no time. Interesting. I try to think about going to the mass caster, but it seems impossible far away. Imagine choosing what I want to do or what I want to be. Imagine choosing what I want to be forever. I know what you're thinking, but don't worry about it. You get plenty of badges when you get out there. And once you got three you like, you can trade it in for the mask. Hmm. So can I actually trade those badges in order to get myself a different mask? But don't feel like your mask is your final choice. The gliding is about freedom and exploration. I suggest you claim as many masks as you wish. Only at your final ceremony will you be asked to choose one. How will I choose one? You'll, you'll have to fit it out. But when you know, you'll know. Now. It's time then, isn't it? Time to walk through the face door at the Temple of Rohana. There, you'll assemble your gliding mask. And go. Hmm. There are things I wish to convey to Jari here. Depth of love and gratitude and fear and worry and hope. And thought I find myself unable to speak any of it in words. I know she understands. Before you leave, child. I made you these. Oh, no way. Did she just give me clothing? When you, when you leave today, you will no longer be Sable, clan child of the Ibexi. You will simply be Sable, and the rest will come. But no matter where you are, no matter where your journey takes you, I will always know you, I will always love you, and I will see you again. Hmm. I should head to the temple to begin my uh, ceremony. Hold up, can I actually change my clothing? No freaking way. This is epic, look at us, we just changed clothing. And it looks so much cooler now. Alright, well, um, hold up. Let me jump on my bike. Unfortunately, this is probably not going to be my bike, right? The one that we just made. I'm still using the borrowed one. Yeah, definitely using the borrowed one still. But I'm still going to use this one until mine is going to be ready, I guess. Which I do see it in the workshop here. But uh, I believe it might need to be ready. I don't know. Because I definitely couldn't jump on it. Ultimately, let me make my way right up here. Oh my god. <laughs> that bike is horrible. I 
I mean, is this where I gotta be? Wait, what? I mean, yeah, it's definitely where I gotta be, right? Pretty sure about it. I should head to the temple to begin... ...my gliding. Yeah, you know what? I gotta go here, actually. Pretty sure about it. Right? I mean, this is where I started the game. Oh, no, never mind. It's now opening up. Whoa. What is happening? Now, I'm not sure what's happening, but I feel like I gotta jump on these platforms here. And I'm guessing I gotta start up with this one. Almost fell down there. What am I supposed to do from this side, though? A little bit confused. Hold on, I think I see what I gotta do, yeah. There's definitely gonna be a lot of platforming in this game, for sure. There we go. I feel like I gotta activate all these four platforms in order for something to happen. Yep, I gotta put on the mask, I get it now. Interesting. So that was one. Uh, the next one is going to be all the way up here. Right, let's see. I think I can do this jump, right? Not sure about this one though. Hmm. I'm also on the actually no, this is the platform that I'm getting I'm trying to get to. But I don't know how to jump here. <laughs> because this is not gonna work. Yeah, it's definitely not gonna work. In that case, let me try this one. Let me try a different one, and then I'm gonna try to figure out the rest. I keep on trying to do double jumps, but this game doesn't really have double jumps, does it? Right, well, from this spot, I gotta keep on climbing up here. And we almost reached it. Oh no, come on, Sable. Ah, we got it, perfect. Got it. And somehow I gotta make my way to the left side, but I'm not quite sure exactly how I'm supposed to climb up there. Hmm. I think I may need to actually walk on this pillar instead. Yeah, that may be a thing. I never walked on a pillar, but I'm pretty sure we can go left and right on it. Kinda pretty sure about it. So let's just try that. Let's see, if I do a jump... Oh god, don't slide down. Yeah, we definitely can walk on it. Right. And ultimately... There we go. Did I just activate... Oh, never mind. I thought for a second that I activated a mask for myself. What is happening? Oh, it is activating a mask. Jeez, this looks weird. Looks kind of creepy. Let's 
So, did the shrine just give me that mask return for activating it? Wow, this looks great. Yeah, it definitely activated a mask. Look at that. And by the looks of it, I can speak with it. He bakes the mask. The ceremony completed. Return to the camp. Uh, hold up. Can I actually put the mask on? Yes, we freaking can. Jeez, this looks awesome. Hmm. Uh, how do I return? I'm guessing through this ladder. Log again. Hi, Sybil. Jody's voice echoes strangely through the machine, yet still warms me. Well, Sybil, this is it. By the time you hear this, we will have gone. The gliding is a journey that must begin alone. There's a certain nuance lost in transition, and for that, I am grateful. It will be far too much to hear the cracks in her voice and not run whiply into her arms to stay forever. But I'm ready, and so I close my eyes and listen. But though you go by yourself, you are not without friends, you are not without family, you are not without love. These things will always carry with you, as you do your mask. And I know I'm not supposed to do this, but if I were you, I might go and see Utari. They're the mechanist at the Burnt Oak station and among Cizo's closest friends. Utari is a good contact to have on one's gliding, and a fine way to get another mechanist badge if you are so inclined. Only a suggestion though. As for us, I'll send another message once we return to the Ewan. So keep an eye on the post box and try not to forget us. Hmm. She takes a long breath, and I forget that things as easy as breathing could ever exist. The world is the waiting sable. Good luck. Wait, so was that the ceremony? Did they all just leave? Seriously? I thought it was supposed to just say goodbye to them. Wait, is she just going on her foot? What about my bind that we were supposed to get? Leave the canyon. Oh! Am I calling for my bike? Oh my freaking god, are you kidding me? Look at this thing, especially with that red shine that she's got as we're riding it. Whoa, this is so freaking epic. Are you kidding me? I absolutely love this. I absolutely love this. Alright, so our mission, of course. Actually, we don't have no quest anymore. We're just starting. I mean, this was kind of a quick tutorial teaching us how to play the game and just getting us started. But from here on out, this is where we're going to be able to explore the world on our own and uncover new stories. All right. Anyway, guys, this has been the first episode of Sable. Let me know what you guys think about this game down in the comments below. Are you enjoying this? Do you want to see me carry on with the story here and explore it the world a little bit more, providing more episodes? Let me know down in the comments below. Leave a like if you guys enjoyed this one. And of course, if you guys enjoyed this and want to grab the game for yourselves, there are a few links down below in the description. You can go ahead and check them out. With that being said, thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you all next one soon. Bye, everybody.